Hey babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Of course, today's video is actually in collaboration with Ali Pearl. Now, I've only worked with this company maybe about two to three times. Um, and so I'm really excited to actually see what their U-Part wig has to offer. Of course, I did decide to use one of their kinkier textures. Obviously, because my hair is not silky, baby. We need something to blend. So <laughs> this is a quick look at what the hair looks like. I did want to show you a very detailed way to kind of get rid of the kinks and curls and crimp look and all that stuff. I know it can be really annoying when it comes to the kinky textures um, because of course it is just a process so it's been steam pressed so I'm actually going to go ahead and take my FHI flat iron in combination with my camera flat iron spray um, and I just love the way that the camera holds it's really like a kind of like a hairspray with a light hold that allows your hair <laughs> to kind of get really really straight but it still keeps it nice and soft and you guys can see I literally had to go track by track to get this as straight as freaking possible it took me about to maybe doing about three to four rows and then i realized i'm like wait if i try to do this too bulky i'm still gonna have that kink in there still gonna be very difficult to press out so you guys can see i literally had to go layer by layer and obviously this wig was extremely full which i appreciate because of course y'all know typically i like to add like layers and all that stuff but i really wanted to just show you the transition if you guys are wondering how high um, of a heat i had to use this is actually on 450 degrees so as high as the flat iron is gonna go and I allowed myself to just really kind of silk this out going slowly down the shaft of the hair and you guys can see how beautifully it kind of straightens out now you will catch a few areas that still will have that kind of like kinked look and honestly I don't even know how long it took me to straighten this <laughs> I think I stopped counting I, I feel like I may have stopped at like the 40 to 45 minute mark and it's just because it's so much hair typically I pull out my FHI flat iron to go through a bulk of hair but again I really wanted to make sure that I straighten this to the best of my ability you guys can see this is only half of the head and already <laughs> look how thick and full everything is so if you guys are looking for something to kind of give your natural hair a break you want to be able to get that like micro leans or sew in quick weave look without actually having to do it then I definitely suggest doing u-part wigs now what there is a difference between the u-parts and the v-parts but this is not what this video was about so if you haven't already make sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications that way when I do the comparison video of the v-part versus a u-part you guys will get a very I guess clearer picture of like what it is that's going on so now that we have everything pretty much straightened out y'all know a hairstyle is never complete without a trend and I love blunt ends so I went ahead and just pretty much trimmed off about a good inch or two and then y'all there's me okay clearly needing a lash fill in so please forgive me okay for these little flicked lashes throughout the video but okay if you guys have not already seen I did post a reel um of basically how I color my hair or do like the semi permanent color so of course my hair is naturally like a light brown and now it's jet black so there's that I did straighten my hair do a soft little trim on it just to kind of maintain it um and so yeah that one's posted on Instagram TikTok and also um Triller which is interesting so I'm on there now <laughs> if you have a Triller account definitely make sure to follow me there as well and all that I'm doing is just analyzing my hair honestly I wanted to do a middle part because I wasn't sure how the side part was gonna do and I'm just really showing you how my hair is looking y'all know where we started if you guys are new here definitely check out my big chop video I did this really pretty blunt cut um, and it's just grown out tremendously so I'm super happy about the health of my hair and when I did straighten it I only straightened it on about I think a 350 so obviously it's not like bone straight way down and all that I want to maintain the integrity of my hair so I'm going to do the same thing once it uh, comes time for me to go ahead and kind of blend this and you guys can see obviously my hair straightened out I've already shown you in a couple of other videos how you can really just braid down your hair if you're looking for something more long term but for me I just wanted to be able to wear this style literally for this video y'all know how it go <laughs> But um, if I was going to be wearing it, it would probably be no longer than a day just because it's so freaking easy to install. And I don't like to sleep with weave in my hair. I just, I don't. I'm sorry. My wigs, I do the glueless method so that I'm able to just take it off at night and go. So all that I'm doing is sleeking down my hair as best as I can. Nothing perfect. And creating this small little ponytail um <laughs> braid. And then I'm just going to literally flip it up. Use two bobby pins to pin it as close to the 
the top of my head as I can and then I'm just gonna put on a wig no wig cap needed nothing like that and of course this is how the texture looks against my own I thought it was a really good match obviously now my hair is black um, as opposed to a darker brown which is fine because you guys are gonna see it's gonna blend now I did get a couple of questions about that little uh, fabric that comes with the U part you guys <laughs> cut that off that is just for the company's sake to know for instance if they send you a wrong wig they want to make sure that that part has not been cut so they know you haven't worn it and just sent it back now the unit does actually come with uh, clips. So just the same as you would see with like a clip-ins or anything like that. I appreciate those kind of clips because they do not move. But the only thing is, same thing with clip-ins. They get a little, you know, they can definitely weigh the hair down. So if you're going to be doing this, whether you have the braided down uh, install underneath or not, definitely make sure that you're taking this off at night. I do not want you to damage any parts of your hair with those clip-ins just sitting in that spot for weeks at a time, okay? Um, I just wanted to show you how easily this blends you guys can see i'm able to flip it up without having to sit for hours <laughs> to get that a quick weave that sew in those micro links and y'all we don't have a conversation about the micro links because i am not <laughs> okay we gonna talk we just gonna talk so yeah you guys are able to see just how flat everything is uh pretty much laying so usually i complain about how uh big the cap is y'all i didn't even have to do much to this like i didn't have to adjust it in the back or anything so the fit actually was a lot better than some of the other u parts i've reviewed so i did appreciate that you guys can see there's no lumps or bumps um i did go ahead and just blend my hair and y'all it's literally like melting into the blend so i was happy about that i'm not really into the baby hair at this current moment when it comes to wearing like natural looking weaves so I, this is for y'all okay um i am just gonna go ahead and kind of blend all out the front just a little bit but nothing too crazy typically what i would do is take maybe another straight clip in that i have like just a kinky one and i'll put it in between my hair but that's more so if i wanted to keep that long elongated like look but i'm not so i'm gonna go for more of a layered look y'all know i'm gonna go ahead and just pretty much blend this with my hair making sure that everything is smoothed over the tracks and y'all see just how flat it is i just got a big head okay <laughs> Um, so go ahead and just kind of brush that through i'm not applying any extra products and then y'all know this is where my hair is hitting and i'm going to go in a diagonal motion just to pretty much frame my face and kind of get this to look exactly the way i want to so i did switch between the scissors and the um razor comb so definitely get you one i think i added one to my amazon store so just look in the description box it should be there if not just go on amazon okay <laughs> or go to your beauty supply store and grab one they look a bunch of different ways so no pressure there um and yeah just going into diagonal motion the goal here is just to blend everything with that top layer of your own hair obviously if your hair is longer you should be framing the face at the length of your hair do not cut your hair for these extensions it is not worth it okay um so i'm gonna do the same thing that i did on the left side to the right side and i'm literally just dragging down the comb slowly so i try my best not to speed up these videos i try my best to talk the whole time because I know that you guys are mostly here to learn so I really want you guys to get an understanding of what I'm doing why I'm doing it as opposed to just putting music over this and then y'all are like Chrissy but what did I do okay um so yeah this is pretty much the look um I am gonna go ahead and just bump it one last time keep in mind this is on extremely low heat so probably 300 at this point because also a tip if you start flat ironing your hair on 450 um the plates are just gonna get hotter and hotter so i like to start at maybe about a 350 when it comes to my natural hair if i'm not going to be going to uh roxy just to have her trim my ends and all that good stuff because i want to avoid heat damage i'm not going to be wearing my hair too natural like in any curly styles but uh you get the picture so this is what the look is uh, pretty much giving y'all that nice effortless layered body wave i'm talking about body wave y'all this is straight what what's going on the <laughs> the style has a ton of body and then of course i did want to go ahead and just clean up the part a little bit smooth everything over i just really liked how natural like it kind of was given like blowout look and that's usually what my hair looks like when i straighten it myself so i love that look it just it looks a lot fuller 
like it's growing out of my scalp obviously you can put this up you would just want to leave your perimeter out around the back if you wanted to do a quick little flip up look and y'all okay these lashes was driving me crazy but now my lashes are done so make sure that you have on your post notifications because this upcoming week i'm going to be doing a barbie ponytail so it's going to be super cute uh lots of summer styles coming on the way coming and on the way are the exact same thing like what um and so yeah i'm just really showing you the versatility here and showing you the blend all that and like i said my hair is obviously a little bit darker but you can't tell because it's no different than having that kind of like balayage highlight with the dark roots going into like a lighter tone towards the bottom and yeah let me know what you guys think about this i was super happy about it i definitely wanted to quickly show you how to remove it as well which to me is self-explanatory but just for those of you that are out there like Chrissy now what do I do <laughs> so let me show you um, I'm literally just gonna pop out the clip so if you had to press them inward to seal them then you want to do the opposite push down in the middle and slowly take this off do not rip this off of your head there's even a comb around the back as well if you need to add any additional ones you always can let me know if that's a video you need to see and yeah of course I wore my hair for the day <laughs> but this is always just a really quick style to kind of put it on and go and of course my hair is really really flourishing y'all i'm so happy it looks so good and healthy and just thick and all that good stuff but leave any comments or questions down below i love you guys so much stay pretty and i will see you next time bye babies